OK, so we'll go into the sub D mode. And we're creating the starfish body, so we start off with the center of the starfish, so um, a cylinder will be the best part for that. Now, as I've used this before, it's remembered that I had 10 sections there, which is great. And now I need to select the arms, so we'll go around and select our five arms, the last one there. Now we need to extrude those out. So using the extrude tool, we will extrude out probably five or six times to each time you click, you get another extrusion. So it's three, four, one more for look, five. Now I want to actually start to put some shape into these arms um, in, in the actual mermaid two of them went curling that way, one went curling this way, then they curl also backwards and forwards. So we could extrude one out at a time and do it, or we could do it like we've just done now and extruded all five of them and then change the sections of where they are. So we'll go into the line mode and we'll first of all let's select this top circle of lines here, hold the control key down to multiple select it and the last part of it there and we'll scale that section so using the scale tool we'll make it a bit wider and that way as well or two. and then it's easier now because we've come down this this arm we can now this will now recognize that those lines are following around in a circle so we can use one of the multiple selection tools so one click on that and it's selected all of those lines around there. So again we'll just scale that a little bit. So now we're going to move down again, we'll do that multiple select on there and we'll let's move this one. So we'll move that one up, say. So now we'll move that up and we'll take the next one, multiple select, we'll scale that one down. And do the same on this one, scale that one down and we can also do it on the end or we could just go into the face mode, select that face, just that one and we'll scale that down. We could also move that so we'll move that over, say, a bit like this. So you can see it's starting to get some shape in there, and you do that for the rest of the sections. Or we could have just pulled out, as we've extruded one out at a time, do a rotate or a move and a scale on it, pull it out a little bit further, and you could make that shape again. Anyway, you don't want to see me do all of those, so like in true Blue Peter fashion, I've made one that we did earlier. So I'll just hide that. And here's the one I did earlier. Right, so now I want to put some um, lines along the top edge of it. Uh, in the in the pendant, I've got um, sharp edges where the diamonds went down both sides. So if we double click to go back into the sub D mode. we can um, show you how to pull these lines out. I've already done a few of the lines here so that it's easier for us to see and takes less time. But what we need to do is to, this is how it would have come out from the stage previous. We need to put these two lines down there. Very easy to do. Use the um, scissor key. Now, when we're starting to try to um, select points and lines, it's a lot easier to use these the block shaped mode. So we'll start off with this one here. So I need to go down this line, this arm here. So we'll place the points. You can feel that it's snapping to the actual line. One on the bottom. Move back up again. And 
that's that one done. Now we've got to do it for the other arm. So again, using the scissor tool, uh, start about there. Go down. Back up again. Okay. Right now, I want to pull those up. So we will go into the face mode and let's go back into it smoothed out. We need to select all the center parts. So we go down. We might as well as do them all at once. I mean, they're all the same height. And that one, and again, last arm. Right now, what I want to have is a sharp edge to the base of this ridge. Now if I just extrude that up as it is, you'll see that the bottom part of it is rounded, which is not what I want. So if I just do Control Z to go back to where we were, if I use the sharp edge tool, click on that once, that's now made these edges at the bottom will be sharp. So when we extrude now, you see that that bottom edge is no longer domed and it's a nice corner there. Now if I just toggle out of that whatever mode it was in, as soon as you click it again it will toggle out of it it will now make the tops of those smooth again. So I've now not got some nice sharp edges down the bottom and smooth tops. Now of course well, that one's a bit wider there so but I could easily just go in there and scale that across as well. But what, what we need to do now is actually make that a bit lighter because it's a solid piece at the moment would weigh a fortune so what I want to do is cut it out and shell it now again on the back of this I've already started to draw the line in and all I'm using is again the same simple scissor tool so again we'll go back into the block mode so we can see where we are and we'll start at this end here we'll click on it and we'll move down this edge Now you can't go past a line, so I couldn't like click onto that line from there. It will only let me click within that polygon. And again, one more there. I want to start again up the other side of it, so just finish this off. Once there, 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 there. Now I need to click on that end line there. Now when you move your mouse over in the snap mode, you see how it goes to a, a square? That means you bang on that point. So one click there and that will have made that a completed um, join on there. Right now I need to again, let's go back into smoothed out mode and I want to be in that mode there and we need to select all the sections in the centers nearly done one there and these last two up here now we use the remove face which will remove and we're just left with a, a surface now now if we use the select all tool and use the shell tool we can determine how thick we want the shell to be uh, we'll leave it at one millimeter for now click the tick button 
and hopefully just thinking about it Yeah, it's done it now. That's made a one millimeter shell on that object. So now we could go back into the part mode, design mode. And there we've got our solid now that we can start to pave set and do some advanced pave on. We can now boolean parts out of that or do whatever we wish. Anyway, we'll do some more on this um, three-day modeling. Uh, that's your first one from me. Thanks a lot.